All right, but speaking of traditions, we're talking about holiday traditions. It's our traditions on Wednesday to bring in and take the praise Dr. Lori. Yeah. tradition. I know. <laughs> That's a good tradition, isn't it? <laughs> it's a new tradition for us for 2020 and one I think we're going to have to keep for the future, okay? Okay, well, it's I'll do, so it nice. do it. It's so much fun to be with you guys. And we're talking about, of course, all our vintage collectibles, the objects that you've had in your life that, of course, spark memories, whether it's ornaments or plates, or if you made a wreath, I made a wreath, you know, all kinds of things that's happening for the holidays. They're just so holiday specific. Well, and I think this is a good time of year because things people get so emotional and so attached to certain things that they think to themselves or and they are priceless to them. But then you go, I don't know, is it actually worth this is where people have a hard time separating. That's right. That's right. They really do. And you want to think about these items, though. But some of those items are just they're valuable and they're, of course, collectible. And they might remind you of somebody or a time a time gone by like. These are some items from my mom's Christmas tree. My mom lived to 94, and it's nice to have that to remember how her Christmas tree looked, you know? And then some of the items that might be newer collectibles, you know? So maybe if you have your alma mater kind of collectibles or, or pieces like these from the 60s that are coming back because they kind of look like spaceships, you know, <laughs> the old bells, because, you know, space is coming back big yeah. this year. And then wow. I think... 2020 ornaments are going to be pretty fun and funny today oh, if yeah. you're collecting this year's ornaments. Just put them yep. out on the tree, call it a day. Uh, so <laughs> right now, call it a day. Let's go ahead and get that first item in so we can decide if it's either over $50, which is a keep, or under $50, which is what we like to say, dumpster. Okay, by the way, I am in the middle of watching The Crown. Yeah, I literally was just thinking because of The Crown is so popular, there's no way that's going in the dumpster. <laughs> well, then that's the reason. There you go. That's right. That's a no dumpster. That is a coronation tin for tea from, of course, the coronation of Queen, Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth II, uh, 1953. And that was a tin that was collectible that you could buy if you attended the coronation. You're exactly right, ladies. This is a no dumpster worth $125 now. And prior to the crown, it wasn't worth as much. So he yeah. shows you. Yeah, it shows you how a, how a cultural situation, when something comes into our cultural vocabulary, like the Crown TV show, is so important. It can change the value of objects. So people say, oh, it's only worth this, you know, five years ago. Well, then the Crown reestablishes it, and that's why it's a no dumpster. Hmm, good one. Okay, yeah. moving that's on. Really cool. what, do you, what do you have next? Next one is... <laughs> a Santa chalkware image. This particular piece is a little bank. So you could save up your coins so you can buy presents for your friends. It's a Santa chalkware bank. Dates from the 1960s. And he's asleep at the switch here. He's getting ready to make his big night <laughs> take his nap. <laughs> so now quality, it looks like there's a little yeah. a couple of little chips and cracks in there. Like yeah. quality is not so great. Not so great. At holiday time, you see a spike in some of the items that relate to the holiday, even if, of course, the quality is not so great. Chalkware is a very inexpensive ceramic, and this one is chalkware, and it's painted. And again, it is from the 60s, so it's got some age to it, about 50 years old. I'm going to say dumpster. And I'm going to say dumpster because I know things in the 60s are popular, but unfortunately, that quality, I think that that makes the difference. I'm with Carly. Condition is to antiques, what location is to real estate. It's got to be in good shape. This piece is a dumpster. It's worth 10 bucks. Yes. <laughs> hey, Carly, can we make it three for three? Yeah. Okay, this last piece is a White House Christmas card from the Clinton administration. It's an image, a print by Thomas McKnight. It's from 1994. You will notice the printed signatures of President Bill Clinton and First Lady Hillary Rodham Clinton on the bottom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> it's getting all misty over here thinking of Christmas cards. Um, <laughs> I don't know. This is a tough one because I almost feel like it's not quite old so enough yet. But you know, okay, so it's 1994, no. which puts it at 26. I know no, that my niece was born in 94. We're getting old. Oh, no. I have all the. I have a lot of the White House ornaments. Um, yes, yes, cool. they do a lovely job. They have a collection yeah. that you can cool. purchase. Yeah, the White House Historical Society does that. 
I'll give them a plug because they do great work even online about, of course, um, our, maintaining our history, that part of the, um, the White House Historical Association, yeah. collecting those ornaments. But this particular Christmas card, many people collect them. They are out there. Many people have them. A lot I'm of gonna them say are, dumpster. I'm gonna say hold on to it because maybe it'll be worth more down the road and it's easy to store. It's worth $125 Jeez. right now. It's a no dumpster. This is a presidential Christmas card, ladies. It falls into two <laughs> collectible categories. It She's falls so into presidential collectibles and Christmas, which are two of the biggest <laughs> categories. Oh, come on, have I taught you nothing? I, oh. I held on to it for storage reasons. <laughs> is that a third? No, that's not a third characteristic. Uh, story oh. reasons. Oh, all right. Well, we well, always uh, treat. Make sure to follow Dr. Lori uh, online, social media. You've got always a lot of content on YouTube too, which is good. We always learn so much. And obviously there's still more to learn. There's a lot to learn. The YouTube channel at Dr. Lori V's YouTube channel, of course. We do our live YouTube um, events too, my table talk, where we're going to talk about all different things and lots of values and lots of ways to learn how to actually actually sell for top dollar through my YouTube videos. Oh, but it's always right. good to be here with all of you looking at your antiques. Oh, <laughs> Take care, Lori.